So, I know I'm getting to be one of the older folks on the job now, but I seem to regularly find things that are new to me, like this chalk. And so, I asked Matt Jensen why we're using the chalk and what's the benefit of it being on the set of irons. Go ahead, Matt. Let me know. Uh, so this is an eight wedge. It's a metal, basically chalker wedge. Uh, the big benefit is if you have a very small uh, or thin gap between your door and your jam, um, this comes in and you can slide it in, get a good purchase point. You can hit it, beat it, and then use your axe or your ads um, to I'm intrigued. Tell me more. Uh, so another advantage of this is it turns into a one person uh, operation. I can set this in, hit it with the halligan, and then once, if I get it deep enough, then I can just set my ads and open the door as a one person operation. Uh, I saw this cool way where you can put your you axe in a yes. gap and it'll yeah, help it you maintain your gap as a one person operation. Can you show me that again? I thought that was pretty damn cool. Oh, and we're throwing in the chalk. That's perfectly tied into this fire minute. Thanks, buddy. Also on the swing out, I've more than once smashed my fingers. So you see Matt does a good job of keeping his fingers clear of the wall with the bar. See that? So the other, the, the issue with this is they're made out of aluminum. Um, so you can see on this corner where it's kind of bent. So if you jam it too far like I did into and you catch the rabbit part of the jam, then you're going to start bending and deforming it, making it not as easy to get that fit in that thin gap. So don't, don't beat, beat the, the crap, crap out of it? <laughs> yeah. So yeah, be tactical, not beat the crap out of it. I don't know the best way to say that. <laughs> <laughs> be, be disciplined. <laughs> Here's a couple lessons in physics. Well, the angle's going to go... Hopefully you're gonna get that this way. This one has to do with force flat. applied to your inclined your plane. Ride. I googled it. So preferably. And yes, I knew how to use the Google machine. Yeah. And this one's called gravity. I googled it. <laughs> no, but really, Matt was just demonstrating to us why it's better to put the wedge up above your tool so it stays in place relatively and you can use it again if needed. And right here, this is cool about Matt. He's a, a really good instructor um, and shares and parts his knowledge to the newer guys. And, and here he is teaching more physics. Back here, yeah, full curve. So the farther you are away from the lever, the switch, same thing. I'm very sensitive at the lever. So if I'm, no, that made a big difference. So if I'm pushing from here, I'm losing a lot more mechanical advantage than if I push from here, just because of the way the fulcrum works. Well, Mac, I think you did a good job selling the metal wedge. This was almost like having Bill Nye explain forcible entry. And that's one of the things I like working with you for, because I seem to learn a lot of things when I'm around you. Like physics. Thanks for sharing, buddy. I hope everybody enjoyed this week's Fire Minute.